Hi, my name is Elise Bauman and I play Laura Hollis on Carmilla. I think that Laura's best and worst qualities are kind of the same thing. Um, she is very stubborn, like myself, and she's very insistent on, uh, on what she believes to be right, um, which creates a lot of conflict in season two. It's good to have beliefs and it's good to um, have faith in what you believe, but you also have to leave room for your way not being the only, the only way or not being the only right way. Uh, and so she's making space for that a little more in season two. It's okay, I'm fine. I just, um, I just have a lot of things to do and so I need to do them. So I'm, I'm just gonna. Hey, hey it'll be all right. Laura goes through a lot of changes in season two and from season one. I think season one was a lot about the world not working quite the way that she thought it did and realizing that like where her place is to fit into that. And then in season two, she's realizing that even more. She's realizing that the world isn't just black and white and you have a side and that's it. Um, there's like a lot of gray area and her beliefs are like really challenged this season. Doing the right thing is good, obviously. We always want to strive to do the right thing. Um, but when you insist that your right way is the right version, is the only way, um, it can have a negative effect on other people. I just keep on thinking that there's right and then there's wrong and that I'm doing the right thing. But I just keep on making all of these messes. I think Laura feels the need to save Silas because she, in this season, feels very responsible for the destruction of the campus and the structure um, based on decisions she made in season one. And she's seeing that uh, the effect that that has all had. And, uh, and now she feels like it's her responsibility and her vocation to like remedy the situation. And I think she carries the weight of the world on her shoulders a little bit and probably pretty like egoical. She thinks it's all her fault. So she must be the one to save it then. <laughs> Which I think we can all relate to sometimes. <laughs>We are staying. I think there is definitely a We're lot of solving the murders between me and Laura. And what's really interesting is I feel like Silas. where I am in my life really mirrored the arc that Laura goes through in season two. I think in season one, like Laura really enjoys like being the good girl. And that's something I've been raised to be my whole life. And I think there's value in that. But um, you also can't stifle other parts of yourself uh, to create that person and sometimes being a good person is like acknowledging all parts of yourself. How is that good? How is that the right thing to do? How am I anything but a hypocrite saying that right and wrong are whatever I want them to be and not caring how much damage I cause? What attracts Laura to Carmilla is that Carmilla has a lot of the qualities that Laura herself wants to possess. And I think that's the case in a lot of relationships. We, uh, we see you reflected in someone else, like all the things that we desire in our life. And, um, and Carmilla doesn't, she doesn't worry about what people think of her for the most part. She doesn't have to like censor herself to make sure that everyone likes her. Uh, I think Laura does that a lot. And she's ballsy and she's brave. And Laura definitely has that as well. But she's like itching for Carmilla to kind of like rip her out of her shell a little bit. I think she does in season two. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, this is Elise Bauman signing out, just like Laura Hollis would do. Um, and I hope you guys have as much fun watching season two as we had making it.